and welcome to GCSE Home Learning. This is Urban Issues and is our second lesson on urbanisation. Urbanisation is the growth of cities, the growth of the number of people living in cities. And if we look at Lagos, a large mega city in Nigeria, we can see the population has grown rapidly. In 1950, the population was lit not even one million. And by 2030, the population is expected to be over 30 million. Why are people migrating to Lagos? Okay, so what I would like you to do for me, please, is three things. First of all, I would like you to write your lesson title, which is why are people migrating to Lagos? This is the second lesson in this urban series. We'll find out what Lagos is, and we will look at migration, movement to Lagos. Second thing I'd like you to do is write your keywords. We have two today, urbanization and push and pull and we will use those words as we move through the lesson. Third thing I'd like you to do is complete the retrieval do now, just to see what we do remember from lesson one. If you haven't seen lesson one, you can still have a go at this anyway, or you can go back and have a look at the material in lesson one. Okay, you may want to pause this video while you do those three things, and I'll continue in five seconds. Okay, retrieval do now. Two things that cause megacities to grow. Last week we saw rural urban migration, that growth in number of people in the city because many people come from the countryside and migrate to the city. And the second reason we saw was natural increase. Do you remember what natural increase was? It was the growth in population because birth rates are higher than death rates. Second question, where are megacities located? You might remember most of them are located on coastlines because that is where there are ports, where goods that are manufactured can be exported to countries around the world. So cities have grown next to these coastlines because that's where factories are most useful. NEEs, do you remember what NEE stands for? That was the newly emerging economies. So these countries that are not the most developed, but are not really poor, are countries where there are lots of megacities. And most of these are in Asia. Although today we are going to look at a megacity in Africa, in the country of Nigeria, and it is called Lagos City. Okay, stretch. Why might people not want to live in rural areas? Well, reason might be that in the countryside there, the economic opportunities are low. There are not many opportunities to earn high salaries because people may be on farms. And we're going to explore this in a bit more detail today. OK, just to recap, the growth in the number of people living in cities is called urbanisation. All right, let's begin. So lesson two, why are people migrating to Lagos? This lesson is useful for all GCSE specifications. Um, on the left here, we have AQA, where we need to look at megacities and push and pull migration theory, which we will do today. And the same for OCR, Edexcel and other boards. OK, let's begin by looking at the location of Lagos. On the left, you can see a map of the country of Nigeria. Lagos. If you can find it, I give you five seconds to find Lagos on the map. Lagos is down here. I would like you now in your exercise book or note paper under your title and keywords, complete the description of the location of Lagos on the right. The mega city of Lagos is found on the something in the something of Nigeria. You may want to use the compass point here as a hint to guide you. Pause this video while you complete your description. OK, the mega city of Lagos is found on the coast. So you've got it down there on the coastline in. We need a compass point. I would say the southwest. Apologies for my writing. 
the southwest of Nigeria. Remember, it's always on the coast, it's never in the coast. In the coast, you would be looking at a city being on the beach, perhaps. Um, we're saying on the coast, it means they are near to the coast. And when we refer to compass points, we say in, in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west. And in this case, the mega city of Lagos is found on the coast in the southwest of the African country of Nigeria. We know from last lesson that most of the people arriving in Lagos are coming from the countryside. And this is called rural urban migration, the movement from the countryside, the rural area to the urban area. And actually in Nigeria, 86 people per hour are moving from the countryside to the city. That is an incredible number. So the question is why are so many people moving from the rural areas to the urban areas every hour? Why are they migrating to Lagos? Well, let's look. Nationally, 80% of all Nigeria's jobs are found in Lagos. That means that people in the countryside know they are much more likely to get a good job or a job at all by moving to Lagos, where that is where eight out of 10, 80% of jobs are found. Internationally, so thinking about with other countries, Lagos has the largest financial center in the whole of West Africa. So this means that even people in other African countries may move and become international migrants and go to live in Lagos for jobs in the banking and finance industry. Those sorts of jobs are in the tertiary economy and well-paid jobs. Okay, so let's look at the opportunities Lagos has. And it's always good to put on your geography goggles and your geography goggles or your geography glasses means we look, we see SEE, look for social, economic and environmental reasons. So in this case, in Lagos, socially, 90% of children can go to primary school. That is an attractive thing about the city of Lagos. Nine out of 10 children who go to uh, live in Lagos are able to go to primary school. And there are new hospitals and medicines available here, which perhaps are not in other areas of Nigeria. Economically, there are jobs in construction, secondary industry, manufacturing or building buildings, and financial jobs, such as those in the financial center, that will be jobs in banking or insurance. So there are some social and economic benefits of migrating to Lagos. And these are things which pull people to Lagos. And there's a magnet there to emphasize pulling people to Lagos. What's life like in rural Nigeria, in the countryside? I've put our geography goggles on. We're going to look at social, economic and environmental problems. If you live in rural Nigeria, there is a lack of health care. There are not many hospitals available. And if you're ill, you may face difficulty. In the rural areas of Nigeria, only 60% of students can go to school. That is a lot less than in Lagos. And there has recently been some terrorism in the rural areas, which gives people uh, fear. People are living in fear due to some terror activities. Economic problems. In the rural areas of Nigeria, there is a lack of employment. Most of the employment available is in farming and there are low paid jobs. So primary industry is farming. Um, it may also be in the oil industry, but most of the jobs are in farming. And these are all things that are pushing people out the countryside. Let's look at the environmental problems. Oil spills are damaging farmland. That would push people out of living near their farmland if it was covered in oil, because they wouldn't be able to grow crops. And oil spills are common in Nigeria because a large transnational organization, a transnational company called Shell, operates in rural Nigeria and often has oil spills damaging farmland. All of these things are pushing people out of Nigeria, out of the countryside of Nigeria, sorry. So let's have a look. We've seen things that attract people to uh, Lagos, the capital city. Things that attract are called pull factors. 
we've seen things that push people out of the rural areas and make them want to leave. These are called push factors. So on the right hand side, we have a list of push and pull factors. What I would like you to do is write two headings, push factors on the left, pull factors on the right. And what we will do is organize together which of the factors in our list are push and which are pull. Let's do one together. You can then pause the video and continue. So 80% of Nigeria's job, 80% of Nigeria's jobs, were they found in the countryside or the city of Lagos? Well, they were found in Lagos. So 80% of Nigeria's jobs is a pull factor to the city of Lagos. That is one reason why people are pulled to the city of Lagos. The second one, 60% of students can go to school. Well, let's compare that with 90. 60% of students is in the rural area and that is pushing people out of the rural area. So I'm gonna put here 60% of students can go to school. Okay, my pen here has just stopped working. So here we go, students can go to school. That is a problem in the rural area that pushes people to the city. Now pause the video. I'd like you to complete the list, organizing into push and pull factors. There is then a stretch question. What problems do you think these rural urban migrants might face when they arrive in Lagos from the countryside? When they get to Lagos City, what problems might they face? Please pause the video, complete your table and stretch. Okay, this is our first check. On your table, push factors, you should have 60% of students can go to school. There is terror group, which is pushing people out of the rural area. Oil spills, damaging farmland, pushing people out of the rural area. Lack of employment and low paid primary industry, such as farming. Your pull factors, 80% of Nigeria's jobs, tick them off please. 90% of students can go to school. Lots of construction, construction jobs, making buildings, that is a secondary job industry, and that is attracting people to Lagos, pulls people there. High paid jobs in finance and leisure opportunities. Okay, give yourself a score out of those. You should have a score out of 10. Stretch question, what problems might the migrants face when they get to Lagos City? Well, actually, a lot of them might not be qualified to work in the city. For example, if they've had very little education in the countryside, they will not be able to access the high paid financial jobs in the city, but they may be able to access some of the construction jobs. Also, prices of housing might be more expensive in the city or they may not have a job initially, so they may not be able to afford housing, which creates other problems, which we will look at in another lesson. OK, final check today. What is a push factor? Say the answer out loud, please. You do not need to write it down. What is a push factor? Something which pushes you out of where you live, for example, oil spills, lack of employment opportunities. Question two, why is Lagos nationally important? Nationally means important for that country. Eight percent of Nigeria's jobs are in Lagos. That is a reason why it is nationally important. Give an environmental push factor encouraging migration to Lagos. oil spills in the countryside. So that is what pushes people out of the rural area. What type of industry is found in rural areas? Primary industry, such as farming. And what problems might migrants face when they arrive in Lagos? They 
they may find there's a lack of housing or difficulty getting jobs with no qualifications. Okay, let's think about the GCSE exam ahead. You may get a question such as this. Explain why a megacity you have studied is growing so rapidly. Now, megacity we have studied would be Lagos. And why is it growing? Well, last lesson in lesson one, we looked at the two reasons which causes the growth, natural increase and rural urban migration. Today, we looked at why rural urban migration is happening by looking at the push and pull factors. Okay, I'm going to begin this answer and I'd like you to copy with me. I'm going to begin by saying urbanization, the growth of people in the city is happening in Lagos. I'm naming the city because it's asked me to talk about a mega city. Urbanization is happening in Lagos because of natural increase from lesson one, more births than deaths and rural urban migration. I've introduced this answer. However, I have nine marks. What I need to do is give the reasons for growth. I've done that. But I now need to say what is causing the rural, rural urban migration to happen. So I'd now like you, by yourself please, describe what a push factor is and give some examples specific to Lagos, such as oil spills in the countryside. Then describe what a pull factor is and give examples of some pull factors which attract people to the city of Lagos, such as it having a large financial district and job opportunities. Complete the answer. You feel free to give your answer in the comments section below on the YouTube. Um, lots of people have done that for the other lessons. I will reply, give you a comment, and then I'll delete the comment away so that other people can't see your answer. But that is quite interactive and some people have find that very helpful. Do subscribe to the channel so you can find the next lessons that will come helping you with your GCSE geography and any other feedback is really, really useful. Good luck.